Now that is hard to get somebody. The thing is, uh, don't try and develop samadhi. Try and develop mindfulness. The after anapanasati, he got a small plank. He put it across the top of a well, and he sat on that. <laughs> <laughs> he knew that oh, when he fell, he, he pulled down there, and there was nobody to <laughs> And Apparently, he, he almost fell once or twice, but quickly grabbed <laughs> and tried <laughs> back again. <laughs> Generally, if you're doing a practice and anything comes up of that sort, one should go into it though, because it's an opportunity. One shouldn't just sort of come back to the, keep on with the practice regardless. So. Mm. That's not right. One has to distinguish those. What, what comes from the chitta genuinely and what comes from kilesa mm. as necessary. Mm. If it's kilesa, then we keep on with the practice. Mm. But, okay. I should also, if one tries to develop samadhi. Yes. Yeah. yes. If something does come up very strongly like that, but to watch out for it is the kilesa. Because mm. the kilesa is always ready to mm. throw a fan in the world. Uh, sometimes, if in mind, yeah. we always keep in mind that we try to develop samadhi. Yeah. Then it's there, even under subconsciousness. Yeah. Then the samadhi won't come. How how could we get rid of it? How could how could we practice without keeping? the goal that we are developing samadhi. I think if this thought I found now that it's hard to get samadhi. The thing is, uh, don't try and develop samadhi, try and develop mindfulness. The after all, anapanasati, it is mindfulness, sati. It's the breathing mindfully. If you develop the mindfulness, the samadhi will come of itself. Well, one, one shouldn't too think too much about developing samadhi. But develop the mindfulness, and it will automatically come. <laughs> it, it, is, it is a danger if one thinks about the, the developing of something like samadhi, and then and always thinking about the samadhi in theory and one doesn't get down to the actual doing of it. Always that danger. But uh, uh, one has to circumvent that. I mean, one just fundamentally what one has is the practice, buddho or anapana. And one, one just has to make that the thing that one's on to. And the way to do it is to Try and make it as precise as, as you can. If it's buddho, you know, every syllable of buddho that comes up. If it's the anapana, as the breath is going out, you'll know every moment of it going out like that. And every moment it comes in like that. Not just puff out and puff in like that. <laughs> <laughs> The thing you described before about how you practice, is that what uh, Tanachan describes in his uh, description of Satipana in the Kamatana book? What in practice, the, uh, in the Kamata In the book, uh, Kamatana, the yes. brown book, there's a section about Satipatana yes. described. Yes. And he says, if you do the body contemplation, yes. the four the four Satipatana are all in there. Yes. Yeah, I'm not sure what Tanatran said there. I'd have to read it mm. myself. But mm. the thing is, what he has said is this. If you see one part of the body, mm. then you see the whole thing. Mm. Everything. Mm. And I'm, I'm not sure what, what, what the context of that is. It could be possibly that by, by going into body contemplation, then you, you see the body, uh, first of all, as a physical body. Mm. From that you question it and you realize that you know it by feeling. Mm. 
you're going into a feeling of pride and despair. You go a bit further and you realize it's known in your chitta. And then you, you, you go from that to Dhamma, so you could do all four Satipatthanas, and I'm not quite sure what you meant there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It can go in that way, because it, it depends on, on how you take it. Mm-hmm. Just the mindfulness is the important thing. Mm-hmm. But to begin with, uh, it's usually best, for most people it's best to keep on the body concentration, to begin with. And, and I miss, I miss somehow, miss, uh Sankara and Vinyana and Sanya then. The thing is, as an object of investigation. Yes, there are. But the thing is, uh, first your body. Yes. That's that's the thing. Though. Because we have to begin with. To begin with, we have to take the body as it is, as a body. Uh, and if we do that, we then come to see the nature of the body. And then realize how much attachment one has to the body mm. and how much one is invested in the body and how unstable this body is. I mean, after all, blood pop goes into the heart, they're bang, it's finished. Okay. <laughs> and there's, there's dozens of things can go on with it. Mm. We've invested everything in this body and you see the true nature of this body. Then one gets free from the body. I realize this isn't free at all. And that realization is necessary. Mm. And when one can realize that, and undercutting the Radha Tanha is the most important. Very important. Mm. That's the important thing. Mm. As a crowd around the Jita. The, 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 I mean the four other things besides that. Yeah. This is that and this kind of thing. Uh, I, I can hardly see Vinyan, but just only Sankhan, if, and, and, and feeling Sankhan and Vedana can be seen quite obvious, but no other. Sanya is very difficult. When you answer one no. Mm. I, I mean, uh, but I you see, you see I that color there, red. We call it red, so red like that. What is the experience of that? It's winning. It's amazing. The personal experience of that color. It's winning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Knowing. It's one of those. Oh, that could catch it sometimes. Yeah. But you get you have a monkey. It's it's who up is when you mm-hmm. receive the know. And I mean, it's, it's the one that receives and knows not only sensation, it's through the senses, it receives everything through the senses. So it receives the uh, turning round of Sankara, mm-hmm. it receives the outpouring of Sanya, uh, it, 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 uh, it knows the feeling. Mm-hmm. All this is the Vinyala. The Vinyala is the one who knows. It's the first. It's the king, and it knows mm-hmm. everything, everything comes to <laughs> And what is the difference between Vinya, Vinya and Pasta? Mm-hmm. Pasta? Mm-hmm. Uh, you can say Pasta is when all the conditions come together, mm-hmm. and the phenomena arises. Mm-hmm. Uh, for example, we, so technically you can say, to see that, there must be the AI, there must be a mechanism in between, mm-hmm. uh, there must be Vinyana there. Mm-hmm. And all of them must be focused together. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's like if you, if you want to phone someone, mm-hmm. you, you give the number, mm-hmm. and it's got to connect from, from your phone to the exchange, from the exchange to that exchange, mm-hmm. and it's got to go through all the right numbers to get to the number to get to that person's phone. Mm-hmm. When it's connected all the way through, that's possible. Mm-hmm. Lines made. Oh, it's with the eyes, with the pictures, with the body, yes. body object when they meet, that's Vinyan. Ah. All these factors, whatever they are, mm-hmm. when they all come together in, in the right way, mm-hmm. there is the, the, the knowing, there is the, the perception of the thing. Mm-hmm. The pasta is the joining, the coming together. Mm-hmm. So, if anything's missing there, it won't arise. 
Uh, I mean, because when your honour's not turned black, you, you can, they can be looking, the eye can see it, the first sweep of that and so on. There's no secret. Mm-hmm. So the thing is, if you're sort of particularly absorbed in something else, in hearing something, for example, looking at that. But sometimes this kind of repetition of an experience can also kind of deepen or bring some understanding to an experience or... If it's... I mean, it does open the door. It's, it's all right doing that if it's something valuable. Mm-hmm. If it's something... I mean, it's on Dhamma, yes, okay. Mm-hmm. Most of it's not. Mm-hmm. Most of it's just mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. keeping mm-hmm. your mind occupied. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When it's Sankhara time, it's not a long time, right? And it's stopped by itself. And usually, I, I think the mind is calm after that. If it's Dhamma, yes. Mm-hmm. yes. Not yes. Yes. short. Yes. 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 If it's Dhamma, it's often involved with uh, seeing as well, seeing, realizing. Well, here, here one has to make one's own decisions. Yes. Yeah. That's a good training. Because mm. one, one, it's up to oneself. Yeah. Mm. Now, the training here is the training for the forest. Mm. One has to go off on one's own. Mm. Well, one's not reliant on other people. And the of that one has to learn to, mm. to do the practice on one's mm. own, to, to bring, bring up one's own discipline. Mm rather than having an externally mm. applied discipline. Mm. Um, disciplining oneself is often difficult. The obvious reason that kilesas are against it. <laughs> <laughs> the discipline of the kilesa is lying down and sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the thing one is up against, really. And the, the only thing is to try and tell oneself time mm. after time what the value of mm. doing the practices and mm. what the value of making effort is. Mm. There are other ways, but um, they're quite uh, rigorous. I mean, there's the story of a bhikkhu I heard who um, he got a small plank. He put it across the top of a well and he sat on that. He <laughs> <laughs> knew that oh, he fell, he, he pulled down there and there was nobody to <laughs> And apparently he, he almost fell once or twice, but quickly grabbed him and him back again. <laughs> but he overcame the, the sort of slow swing after about six months doing that. Oh. He usually came to do it. The other time, the other thing the Tan Shan says was a pickle who went to sit on the edge of a cliff. Mm. Of course, the, where, where tigers are going by as well. Mm. That's what no. Find a place where there's some danger. I mean, the, even just sitting in the open, mm. one's afraid of snakes or spiders or whatever it is. That, that can do it. <laughs> Do you also sit in full lotus to sit? No, no I can't. No, mm-hmm. because it's good, I can't do it. Oh, okay. I sit sideways. I'm kind of down there too. I mean, I never, I yeah. never heard him mention about full lotus no. position. He just sits cross like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the the lotus position helps not to not to turn yeah, down. Yeah, one person can do that very easily. Yes, it's good, but it's a Something of a strain if you can't. Mm-hmm. I mean, very few for arms can do it. We sat in chairs for God's sake. But uh, if a person can sit like that comfortably, it's good. Mm-hmm. But if it's not comfortable, it's nothing to do. I don't know how to meditate sitting in a chair with things like that. I, I want to tell my mother. I mean, in case when there used to be some to support from the back or to It's better not to support the back. Right. Uh, unless you've got trouble with the back and you may have to have support. And if you do, put the support low down mm-hmm. and put it high up. Put high up to, to make it go. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-
Mm. Well, there's type of stairs in the corridor. Mm. I think it's rather easy to fall off somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for old people. Yeah. It's, it's a problem sitting because you want to sit for a long time. And there's difficulty in that often. When people's legs are not, uh, not capable of doing it for any length of time. Um, sometimes one gets pain in the knees or wherever it is yeah. and it's it's a thing of Achilles or mm-hmm. well, I don't know whether it's Achilles or mm-hmm. it's, whatever it is it's a type of pain though and once you change posture and you get up from there it's almost gone straight away mm-hmm. and that that, well, that one can sit through mm-hmm. it doesn't do any harm there are other types of pain which, which don't go away mm-hmm. and there you're, you're probably doing a quick turn into damage and it's better to be careful because damage like that, particularly to joints of the soul, mm-hmm. it's not easy to put right. Mm-hmm. They don't cure very easily. It's one of the difficult things to cure in joints. Mm-hmm. And uh, because of that, I, I, I think people should find methods which they can use reasonably. Oh, he, he mentioned about a farmer. Farmer, oh, yes. And he said a farmer works so hard and they yes. suffer. Yes. And uh, he wished that uh, we kind of, I don't know, what's the word, but yeah, the give farm. them more respect or kind of, sort of. Mm. But they're very important people. Yes. Yes. That if you don't have rice to eat, it, yes. that's it. Yes. Well, so it's difficult to to make to to do the farming. Oh, it's hard work. And, uh, it's mm-hmm. real hard work. Yeah. And now people just sell the land for quick yes. money. Yes. Yes. Fast money, but they don't foresee yes. what's going to happen the, um, to them. The person who put those houses up, you know, huh? ones that nobody's living in. Huh? Um, she wants to buy a lot of land. Here. Mm. And I know Tana Chan talked to the villagers. He said, you can sell all the land if you want, but you must remember, although you get a good price for it, once you've sold it, it's gone. Mm. Uh, whereas while you've got that land, mm. you can use it, and you can, you can make money mm. on it every, every year like this. Mm. But once it's gone, that's all you get. If they don't know and how they, to... They saw that Tana Chan didn't agree, so mm. one of them was selling it. Mm. Because mm. for the farmer, it's... Yeah. 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 For the farmer, if they don't know how to work, yeah. at least they can have rice to eat yeah. and also yeah. something from the farm too. I mean, yeah. the crabs and all the frogs, and yeah. everything that can be food for them. Yeah. And some growing. Well, they clean yeah. everything, yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> vegetables and so on. But mm, when there's no land, there's nothing really. Mm. Yeah. But they mm. just uh, I keep eye open with the. Mm. The word 10,000 baht, <laughs> 100,000 yeah, baht. Yes, that's, uh, that's all it mm. comes with. You don't see that. That's all they get. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And Tanakhan more or less told them, they want to tell you that. Mm. Land mm. I mean, even those who don't, don't sell the land, um, hopefully they're quite well off and their children wouldn't like to do farming. So they're kind of hiding other person to do. Yeah, yeah. So the crops won't come out so good, yeah, yeah. like uh, kunetan, <laughs> uh, <laughs> for instance. Yeah. The yeah. children do not farm, yeah. and they they are too old to do. Yeah. So they have to hire other people. Yeah. That's why it's uh-huh. quite lousy yeah. kind of farming. That's yeah. why Tana dance kind of yeah. called called them. I, I don't. The thing is, I don't know what's going to happen in the world. The whole, the whole thing is changing everywhere. Um, I mean, it's the same in Europe. There used to be farming in Europe used to be for a major business. Mm. But nowadays, it's cheaper for them to import uh, sort of farm products from countries five thousand miles away mm. and to do it at home. Mm. 
The only trouble is, that's all right, but supposing things go wrong, supposing there's a war, mm. what do you do then? Mm. You're stuck. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's, it's the same here too, I mean, it's mm. all right at the moment, but supposing they stop farming in Thailand, or the farming comes a minor thing mm. in Thailand, mm. and they make their money by industry, well then supposing the industry dries up because things go bad, mm -hmm. um, where are they? Mm -hmm. Well, I think for Thailand that can happen very quickly. Yeah. Much quicker than for, for Germany or England. Yeah. Because yeah. So much, so they can exploit other countries much better still. Yeah. Yeah. But I think Thailand is really yeah. kind well, of... Well, Thailand, Thailand is, is, is sort of mm -hmm. working now towards industry. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is what Russia tried to do. I mean, what a mess. I think that's right. I know they used to be the farmers have a uh, good heart mm, than yes. city people. Yes. So that's why I, I, I used to read that England still keeps farmers and the right farm because the, the farmers, the, the, the nature, they're more virtuous than city people. They're more usually generous and yes. developed, kind of. Um. Well, city people in England are much like anywhere else. Uh, they're slick. Clever. <laughs> um, they probably tend to be a bit more dishonest than, mm. than country people. But I mean, in England now it's gone very far, because farms in England, to a large extent now, are almost luxury. Mm. Mm -hmm. well, the ten tendency is rather that you look at a uh, rich person who have farming as part of his business and mm -hmm. he just has to do it sideline. Mm -hmm. There's that tendency. Mm -hmm. I mean there are farms going on their own, but nowadays the farmers always complain that they always they never get time for farming, they're always filling in forms. Mm -hmm. And and uh, mm -hmm. so working out the money side of it. Mm -hmm. well, the highest was Suicide rate is amongst the pig farmers. Is it? Mm. No. I mean, it's, it's yeah. really a big thing. Because they have got a hard problem, financial yes. problem. Yes. Mm. I know there's a lot of difficulty with farming in England now, mm. it, it just doesn't pay. Mm. But the whole, the whole system of sort of. I mean, everyone's trying to work through towards this common, common market where mm. everything's open. Mm -hmm. That's all right, but I mean, there, there's no side to it as well. Where you, you, to do that, you've got to be ready to sacrifice some of the industries that are mm -hmm. natural, mm -hmm. uh, that come from the past in mm -hmm. that country. Mm -hmm. And the French are up in arms, and the French mm -hmm. farmers are up in arms. I don't blame them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But in the world, mm -hmm. world it would be different. <laughs> yeah. I, I think believe in you what you're trying to point out last time that it should be self reliant. That's why the state welfare isn't good. So yes. It's better than for each family yes. to take care. Yes. You know how to take care of their own family. Uh, self state welfare should be reserved for where those cases where it's really necessary. Mm. Mm. It shouldn't just be for everyone. Mm. It should be something that's, that's for where a person is very poor or they're, they're, they're sick and they've got nothing, nobody to look after mm. or something like that. So, okay, mm. so, so, so much of it is mm. uh, too much, it's far too much of it. Mm. Yeah, and when people, get, when people get given everything like that, mm. then they don't, if it comes from the government, they never respect it. Because mm -hmm. the attitude rather is, oh, you know, uh, it's just what they should be doing. Uh, and it's not like if people receive generosity mm -hmm. from other people, mm -hmm. then they, 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 they recognize that this, this is a sacrifice to that person. Mm -hmm. And it comes from the government, however, they think, oh, it's, it's our really? right. And it opens it's way from corruption, too. Yeah, yeah, oh, yes. Yeah. I mean, everybody will try and get what they can from it. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. This is what it comes to. I thought it did happen only in Thailand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So everything, yeah, when, when it same. belongs to the public, it seems to be people trying to grab yeah, as much yeah, as possible. Yeah. 
in Thailand in the old days, I, I know I've read some things where it wasn't like that. Mm-hmm. The attitude was that if, if uh, the taxes were something you, you gave to the king mm-hmm. uh, out of gratitude for the support and help he gave, mm-hmm. and, and the idea was it was more a sort of gift to them, mm-hmm. rather than the tax that was mm-hmm. extracted. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the uh, whole attitude is quite different. Mm. I don't know, it, it's strange because uh, the old system with royalty, it had some very good points about it. Mm. It had some bad ones too, but mm. it some good points. Just so long as it seems to be Buddhism has to uh, rely much on the government, I mean on the lay people, like the king, yeah. like king yeah. in the old days, for support. The interesting thing is that Buddhism they always relied on the king, always, always influenced the top people in the mm. country. Christianity did exactly the opposite. That's what happened. Yeah. Yeah, right. and and it, became, it became uh, more like a sort of guerrilla force. This was a tendency, yeah. The Holy Roman Empire. Yeah, yeah. 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 Actually, it became the second power, or sometimes even the first power. Oh, it became very powerful. Even now. Through the church. Mm. Through the church. Yeah. Even now, for the Catholic, they have to donate 10% of their income. Um, that's what the priests say, but not all Catholics do that. <laughs> no. Really, some people in Bangkok still yeah. do uh, Maybe when they become Catholics in Thailand, but in the, in the West, no. Oh, probably not in England. I remember yeah. one woman uh, in India, this was, she was Catholic, and the priest would go around to her house and she'd tell a servant, because everyone has a servant servant, they'd say, say uh, Oh, tell him I'm having a bath. <laughs> <laughs> and every time we came, she was having a bath. <laughs> <laughs> and so many get it straight deducted from your wage, mm. from your bath already, and it goes straight to the church. Really? <laughs> yes. <Well>. Can't you? <laughs> yeah. You must have not on Yeah, just what I thought too. I just. But uh, um, of course, in England it's different because the Catholics mm-hmm. are uh, for a long time been out. Mm-hmm. They only wish yeah. to come back in. Mm-hmm. Uh, in. In the history of England, Henry VIII got rid of them. Right. <laughs> I mean, I- even in, in the state, the, the Catholic in, in the American Catholic is quite different from mm-hmm. the Roman Catholic. Yes. Yes. Uh, oh, no, this is the Catholic in Thailand. Yes, yes. <laughs> there are some American mm-hmm. Catholics and also mm-hmm. Roman Catholics. But that's mm-hmm. why yes. Thailand is the target because it's yes. I mean, mm-hmm. general city. And this, kind this of is also an important area. You, know, you get some because the lay people of that matter and think that the Catholics are a great danger mm-hmm. to religion here, yeah, but they're not. The danger to religion is that those bhikkhus who don't behave. Right. Uh, without, if the bhikkhus behave properly, the Catholics can't do anything. Mm-hmm. So they don't do no danger mm-hmm. at all. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. the way you behave properly. Mm-hmm. This is the problem. Okay. Nobody else. We're putting it out there. <laughs> yes, yes. I think that uh, in the past we need the power of the government or the king when, when there's trouble. In, in the religion, yeah. like looking into the past in the day of Asoka, you know, when they yeah. drop or on some, yeah. some messy in, in Buddhism, to, to have Sankhayana, this kind of thing, must be arranged by the king. Yeah. And that is the king himself who disrobes this <laughs> yeah. that in the, in this land of freedom yeah. in the past. Yeah. Even in, in Sri Lanka, too, yeah. when there's no more. Uh, King, I mean, no more powerful problems, none like that. So, Buddhism just seems to be 
Yes. Yes, and you can't expect the government to do anything. I mean, they're, they're, yes, yes. the whole attitude is always. Hmm. Looking at the, 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 the system in Thailand today, I mean, when they talk trouble when they are kicked down, kind of thing. Oh, really, it really is. This is just funny trouble for a little see. Uh, propagation of Buddhism does depend on the on the country. You know, mm. Depends on the situation in the country, the system mm. in the country, mm. and it also depends on the on the sangha. Mm. I mean, I can't expect all the people to be very clever and to know a great deal of what the teachers and anything that sort. But you know, I can expect them to behave properly, mm. if they should. Mm. 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 They should know what's right for them. And I don't know. My feeling is that they should should insist on it. Mm. And those people who don't don't behave should be turned mm. mm. out. Of course, I thought this was very much written down in the beginning. I mean, very much like if you do it, this and this and this, you have to actually leave monks yes. and to do it. No trouble. Is people don't keep to it. Many of them don't even know. They uh, the, the 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 abbots don't know. I mean. Like reciting the Pasi Mocha this morning, many watch said I recite it. For sure, like the fourth one. But they don't. And this is the way things are now. It's not good. And the trouble, with, the trouble is when that's the case, then the lay people and others don't learn what, what they don't know. They can't. They don't have no way they can learn from. And I, I know in Bangkok there's a lot of disaffection with the Sangha. People. Uh, uh, they're sort of turning away from it. Mm. I mean, this is why when someone like Tana Khan goes to Bangkok, he's almost mobbed. Mm. <laughs> yeah. How do you see for something like that? Mm. I mean, he, he's an exception, and what he's done is, is unusual. But at the same time, if people uh, were behaved well, And you get some who would be um, somewhat learned as well. People would go to them, and they'd learn from them. That'd be, be all right. Mm-hmm. And nothing, nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. But things at the moment are going bad. I don't know what they're to do. <laughs> anyway, the only thing one can do really is to try and <laughs> cure <laughs> oneself. <laughs> That's really the only thing. And generally, if one cures oneself, things will turn right. Mm-hmm. It's just kind of chance that, that if you if you're happy, the world's all right. <laughs> if you're if you're pure, the world's pure. <laughs> uh, and there's a good reason behind this too, because we know the world in our own mind, world in our own minds. And if our own uh, my own mind is all right, then the world's all right. It's our own world. Because everything we experience has to go inside, and it's known inside. Uh, because of that, we know everything inside, and what there is outside, we don't really know, except in our own terms of what we see, what we what we know. We only have our own knowing of the world. That's all. And if there's something wrong with us, if if there's distortion there from the kilesas. Then that knowing is distorted, and the world's distorted, and that leads to disharmony, mm-hmm. trouble. So if we cure ourselves, then that distortion goes, the 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 disharmony is, is put right, and the world is okay, it's all right. Mm-hmm. And this, of course, I mean the, the external world separately, whatever that may be. We'll go on much in the same way as we have, I suppose. But, but the thing is that in ourselves we know them, and that that because we know them, because we've managed to cure ourselves anyway, well, to some extent or, or totally if one can, then that has its influence on other people. It's very important, that. and it, it acts as a, uh, an example and a guide for other people. And I mean, some of these people seeing Tana Chan in Bangkok, they, they think, oh, there's something there I want. Mm. They want it like that. They know there's something right there. They know that this is good. 
and it is dualism. Mm. And people see that and they like it and they want to know how to get it. And so that they become interested in them. And this is the way it should be. It's always when people become interested that they can learn. When there's no interest there, they can't learn. And when people see someone like Tanishan and they, they feel there's something right there, then they, they look at themselves and they feel, oh, everything's wrong here, it's all wrong, I wish I was like that, I wish I could do this, and I wish I could keep my kids inside. So, <laughs> they can't do it, because the kilesas are still. But then they, they, they start searching and thinking, oh, why, what's the difference? What does he do? What did he do? I don't know. And then they start reading and for long they find out.